Grounding in power system network is required to discharge the fault current during fault condition. It also helps the protection system that is relay and circuit breaker with the help of a current transformer to sense the fault and protect the electrical system. In this video, we will discuss about the disadvantages of an ungrounded system and the advantages of a grounded electrical network and different types of different methods of grounding practices which are being adopted in a modern days. There are two types of grounding systems in electrical power system network. One is neutral grounding and another one is equipment grounding. What is neutral grounding? The three-phase AC power systems with neutral grounding at every voltage level are used for generation, transmission, distribution and utilization. The neutral point or the start point of a start connected three-phase windings of, of a power transformer, generator, motor, earthing transformer. These are connected to low resistance ground. Such a connection is called neutral grounding or neutral earthing. What are the disadvantages of an ungrounded system? In earlier days, the power systems were often without the neutral grounding, that is, it was ungrounded system. However, there are lot of disadvantages of ungrounded power system network. The main disadvantage was arcing ground phenomenon. What is arcing ground? A temporary fault caused by falling tree on the overhead line, lightning surge, etc creates an arc between phase conductor and ground. The arc extinguishes and restrikes in a repeated and regular manner to discharge the high capacity fault current in the overhead line. This phenomenon is called the arcing ground. Though the arcing current is very low due to the high electrical resistance of air, but the voltage of other two healthy phases overshoot repeatedly. Arcing ground produces severe voltage oscillations it can reach up to three to four times of the normal voltage. Also, a temporary fault grows into a permanent fault due to the arcing ground. So this is very dangerous for any electrical network. Next one is the voltages of healthy phases increased by root three times when the earth fault occurs on a phase causing insulation stress and failure though the fault current is negligible. Earth fault cannot be easily sensed and relay design becomes complicated. Over voltages due to the induced static charge, this is also an uh, this is also a disadvantage of an ungrounded system. Lightning searches cannot find path to earth to get discharged. And finally, ungrounded neutral system needs a costlier insulation system of the next higher voltage level. Suppose you are using 6.6 kb bus bars. And you have to design uh, the motor transformers, current, trans uh, current transformers that is CT, VTs, etc. based on the next higher level insulation that is 11 kb system. So though your system is 6.6 kb system, but you have to adopt the design of 11 kb system that demands the increased cost of your electrical design. That's why we are going to uh, for the we are going to the uh, grounded system now what are the advantages of a, a neutral grounded system modern electrical relaying and protection systems are designed considering the simplicity and sensitivity of a grounded network there are several advantages of a grounded system over an ungrounded power network the main advantage is the arcing ground. So these arcing grounds are reduced or can be completely eliminated in a grounded network. Here IL plus IR plus IY equals to zero. That is the current flowing through the neutral to earth is equal and opposite to the capacitive current from healthy phases to earth. Here uh, the fault has occurred at B phase so that uh, phase R and phase Y these two phases are healthy and the current fault current flowing through the neutral path is IL so that IL plus IR plus IY is equals to zero that is the vector summation is equals to zero so this arcing uh, uh, ground phenomenon can be eliminated next one is 
at uh, healthy phase voltages do not increase root by root three times their normal values during line to earth fault hence the insulation life is also long and reduced maintenance repairs breakdown and better reliability earth fault relay design is very simple for a grounded system earth fault current is controllable by resistance or reactance at the earth fault current uh, which will Uh, get discharged to earth can be controlled by using the controllable resistance and reactance method we will discuss later in details about these two methods over voltage due to lightning finds the path to get discharged to earth and finally the improved life of equipments machines installations and hence the overall economy now coming to the methods of grounding There are several practices for grounding the power system network based on the different voltage levels medium voltage high voltage or low voltage or extra high voltage and the fault current profile basically there are four types of grounding uh, methods which are being adopted in our electrical power system network number one is solidly grounding uh, solidly grounding system this is used for low voltage and extra high voltage system it is used up to 3.3 kb system and uh above 33 kb system suppose 400 kb system resistance grounding this type of grounding is used between 3.3 kb and 33 kb system this is used for less capacitive circuits next one is reactance grounding it is used for the circuits where high charging currents are involved like power transformer lines underground cables etc this type of grounding system provides the additional reactance which neutralizes the capacitive currents and final one is the resonant grounding here we use an uh, arc suppression coil which is called peterson coil with the help of this peterson coil we can control the earth fault current to ground so these grounding systems will be discussed uh, in detail in the next video if you want this video content in written format for your convenience you can follow the below link here this link is provided in the description of this video so friends put your comments and provide your valuable feedback so that we can improve further thanks for watching